Hello, this is Matthew for Technomicon Media, and this week on Technomicon.com I'm reviewing Diablo 3. Wanted to share with you guys some video footage from the game. So starting with, there's a, a new system in Diablo 3, which is the crafting system. Uh, works uh, similar in some respects to, to the old sort of uh, gem crafting as well as the uh, Haraja Cube recipes and whatnot. But in Diablo 3, uh, the crafting system uh, works that you unlock you know, a couple different NPCs and then these NPCs will allow you to craft uh, specific items and then uh, as you pay to train you gain new recipes. So the thing about the uh, crafting is that the items that you make are specific and that uh, that you, if you want to make a crossbow, you make a crossbow or leggings or boots, but the stats on the items that you create are completely random, so you're going to be making a lot of different items if you decide you want to go with crafting. And the thing about crafting is sort of the way I interpret it is it's just a supplement to the drop system. So, you know, as you progress through the game, you may get lucky with certain drops and, and not with others in terms of which slots you're going to be equipping items into, so you want to supplement those you know, bad uh, cases of luck with uh, with the crafting system. Uh, one thing I will point out about the uh, the crafting system is it works in in sort of a disenchant capacity. So as you pick up magical items or better, those items can be broken down or disenchanted or you know salvaged as they call it into uh, the basic components. And then these basic components are used to uh, create these new items plus a cost of gold. So the combat system in Diablo 3 is uh, pretty much the same as it was in Diablo 2. The, the feel of the gameplay, the controls, and uh, of course the, um, the perspective of the player, it's all pretty much the same. Uh, there's some new classes, and what I'm playing here is called the Demon Hunter, which uh, is a combination, I think, in terms of gameplay as, a, as an Amazon. And then of course, as a uh, an assassin, in terms of being able to utilize traps and, and that kind of mechanic, so you're you're sort of a ranged class uh, with a lot of uh, tricks up your sleeve. What I use in in this playthrough currently is um, is Caltrops, which is a slowing trap, and then Sentry, which is a which is sort of like an auto turret trap, as well as vaulting, which allows me to escape from from really bad situations. So pretty much the, the gameplay that I developed for myself uh, through playing Diablo 3 and, and the Demon Hunter class is sort of a stick and move where I'm kiting enemies into my various traps and, and letting the sentry and, uh, and my various you know, offensive abilities uh, work for me in that regard. Uh, basically the, the Demon Hunter itself has uh, two, two energies to utilize uh, hatred and uh, discipline. Uh, hatred's used for offensive abilities and discipline's used for your defensive abilities, so your caltrops, your sentry turret, um, and then your vaulting ability or whatever abilities that, that you utilize. Uh, I will point out that, that they changed the, the, the talent and, and character sort of progression system to, a, to, a, to be much more forgiving. So for players familiar with, with Diablo 2, uh, once you spent your talent points, they were spent and there was no rolling back, and, and that's been changed for the better. So here we have a, an example of the boss fights in Diablo 3. Uh, they, they all have sort of this uh, Warcraft 3-esque cutscene, you know, sort of based on the in-game footage, and then you, you jump right into the combat. and. The cool thing about the, uh, the boss fights in, in Diablo 3, while, while this one's more of a simplistic fight, uh, there's, there's not a lot to it, they do incorporate multi-phase and, and sort of more scripting into the fights themselves, so they're, they're a lot more dynamic than, than I felt they were in, in Diablo 2 and Lord of, the, Lord of Destruction and whatnot. You know, basically this, this boss uh, does a, a grapple and pull in, the floor is uh, obviously, you know, patches flame up and, and damage you and then he has a couple of days where he charges and if he catches you it hurts and if he doesn't catch you he stuns and allows you some some time to, to do some damage so basically all I'm doing for, for this fight this was actually the the first time that, that I fought this this was straight off the, the first playthrough and I got caught with the, with the uh, grapple there but um, the fight was pretty fun um, certainly uh, 
wasn't wasn't super easy. wasn't wasn't really difficult either. Um, but uh, I, I enjoyed it, and it's uh, definitely good to see that they're that they're adding more scripting into the fights. The later fights themselves definitely have a lot more scripting with multiple phases and you know cutscenes between phases in some cases. So uh, certainly a lot more interesting than just hack and slash. That, that I felt a lot of the fights in, in Diablo 2 were, were just, you know, about. And once again, this is Matthew for Technomicon Media. Thank you for watching, and for the full article on Diablo 3 Review, visit our website at www.technomicon.com.